Uh, average diesel car, £100 to fill up, of which, of which, £45 goes to the tax man, for heaven's sake. No, absolutely right. I was doing some calculations, actually, uh, this morning. Um, bit of a sort of back of an envelope one. Uh, the, the Chancellor or the Treasury, one way or another, uh, gets at current prices about £1.80 uh, a litre for diesel of uh, 82.95 pence out of that £1.80 uh, for the litre is going to the Treasury. And strangely enough, even though that five pence duty reduction came in, uh, I'm not sure that any of us really saw it. And I think that is the root of concern. Uh, Fair, Fair Fuel UK, which is a body that I do some work with, have done some analysis with some other industry figures, and they're finding that the profit per litre, uh, where it was historically up until about 2018, about nine pence uh, per litre, it is now uh, approaching 19 pence per litre. So is there profiteering going on? I've been trying to uh, go through the supply chain to see where that is. Is it the... Well, the Craig, Craig, don't bother going through the supply it, chain. The, I, mean, I know uh, we just we always use that word whatever. profiteering in the context of, of private companies, uh, the retailers, the supermarkets, the people who run the petrol forecourts. It's the government that's profiteering. Absolutely right. No, there's no doubt about that. Hence my opposition to an additional uh, energy profits levy, windfall tax last week, because the government is doing very, very well uh, out of these increased prices. Uh, even though uh, the, the, the fuel duty came down, there's VAT on everything, VAT on the wholesale price, the retail price, uh, and, all, and even the, the, the duty in between. So even at these prices, uh, the, and reducing the duty level, the government is doing just as well as it did uh, when fuel prices were uh, around about 140 or 150. Uh, add to that uh, the profits that the big companies are earning, uh, the Treasury is getting another 8 billion, and that's before this extra 25% levy uh, taking the tax rate up to 65%, which I think under any uh, reckoning is just penal. So the government's got 8 billion out of the, the super profits. It's doing very well out of the fuel duty and VAT at the pump. And of course, there's about another 1.5 billion uh, from us as householders uh, on the 5% VAT because all our prices have gone up by uh, you know that, that extra amount and will possibly, maybe, hopefully not, but it looks likely, uh, go up even further uh, come the autumn. So there is a windfall already. And I've been saying for some time, well, you, you don't need another windfall tax because I think that makes uh, international businesses look at Britain and go, well, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I I, want I, I, to and Craig McKinley, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I think you've got a point about in, you know, the message it sends out to businesses if you start deciding that profits are only ever uh, provisional. But just on the point about the average diesel car, £100, the people that have been uh, the victims of this profiteering, it is the small business people, it is white van man, the people already struggling, it is the mums and dads schooling, doing school runs. It is people who live in rural areas who need a car to get to work, to go about their business. Mm. These are the people who have been victimised by this. Well, we've had a sort of war on the motorists for a very, very long time, whether that's uh, private uh, parking companies that just seem to want to levy fines, uh, whether it's low traffic neighbourhoods, which many councils have introduced, cycle lanes that nobody use, uh, and of course, uh, you know, the likelihood of, of getting snapped by a camera, uh, which again has gone up massively over the last uh, couple of years. But now on layering, layering on top of all that, we've got very, very high fuel prices.